is Friday. Thank God it has been such a long week and we are off on Monday, so I'm very excited for that. I have to get ready to do some coffees and I have to go ahead and take some time and set up my activities for today. I am doing phenomenaling with my CP students, my AP students. We are working on some kinetics questions. So I'm gonna go make coffees, I'm gonna go set up phenomenaling, and then I'll be sure to check in with you guys a little bit later on today. the end of the day on Friday and oh my gosh what an exhausting day what an exhausting week honestly it was just such a crazy week I don't remember feeling like this tired there's a lot I think that's going into this week I am doing kinetics with my AP kids which by the way I didn't tell you guys this morning because I was so tired we're in person we're back in person I know last week I was telling you guys that we were virtual and we're back in person this week and it's so good to have the kids back virtual learning was really a challenge for the kids I think they were struggling with a lot of the stuff that we were doing like I was doing for example molecular geometry with CP and I was doing Beer's Law and Separation Techniques with AP. And then when they came in this week, I gave them a quiz. Well, I gave my CP kids a quiz and I gave my AP kids their um, chapter tests. So they had a chapter test on 10 and 11 that included Beer's Law and Separation Techniques. And they did okay, not, not as good as I thought they would. And I don't know like if it was because of that week of virtual learning. Um, you know, I when they're not in class, I can't see what they're doing. Um, and obviously, like, to be in the room with somebody is so much different than being, you know, on the computer. When they're in the room with me, I'm able to just walk up to their table and help them and work with them. Um, when they're on the computer, it's it's not that easy, especially because the kids don't really want to vocalize that they have questions. It was it was not one of their better tests. You know, there's some tests that the kids just always do well, and I'm sure you guys see that with your students. But it was all right, and so this one was pretty much all on intramolecular forces. But it's one of those things where I like to put um, test questions that maybe the kids didn't do so well on on you know subsequent tests, just to kind of you know get them to make sure that they you know, don't forget that information or relearn it if they need to. So that has been a really effective strategy with helping the kids stay accountable for the information even if they get it wrong. Now, as far as what I've been doing with my kids this week, AP is studying kinetics. So we started our kinetics unit. That's been a little interesting. It's, uh, it's definitely challenging. For me, it's challenging because I don't have a whole lot of resources for that. So I've been creating a lot of stuff for the kids. I've been creating all brand new Edpuzzle videos and I've been creating all brand new do nows and worksheets and answer keys and it's just been a lot of stuff. And then of course I need to look at, you know, different labs cause I haven't done a lab on kinetics in quite some time. So um, I, uh, I definitely am feeling a little stressed about the AP class right now. As far as CP, we are into our intermolecular forces unit and we're just talking about polar and nonpolar molecules and you know talking about interactions and so this morning i told you i was doing an activity with cp i was doing my phenomenaling activity i love that activity it went really well today the kids have three clear liquids and i asked them to throw it in like the center of the board um, and so basically they see which one evaporates fastest and they equate that to the one that has the weakest intermolecular forces and then the substance that evaporates slowest that has the strongest intramolecular forces and then I have them model the interactions. And so that went really, really well. And then like when the kids are done with it, I always take pictures of the whiteboards and I put all the pictures in a Google Slides presentation so that we can reference it throughout the unit and kind of hone our models as we discuss. But honestly, their first go round was really good. I was very impressed with them. The AP kids, as I said, are working on kinetics. So we were talking about integrated rate laws today, fun. Um, so I was having the kids graph 
using Google Sheets, just solving some problems, looking at first order half-lives. Um, so I've been really kind of embracing more of the flipped model with the AP class in that I create a video and then they work problems in class. And I think that's what's really causing me to feel like really exhausted at this point because I find myself having to create all these videos so quickly. And so I really don't get a break in between. Um, and then of course, if I create the video, I have to create the activity that's going along with it in class. So it's a lot of work, but it definitely keeps things like interesting, like it's, it's fun to watch the kids solve problems together. It's fun to interact with them. They ask me questions and we can all like kind of work together to figure it out. I just love that part of our classroom environment. It just makes for a really amazing um, place for us to share and talk and it's really a judgment-free zone. So I don't have much else to report on, um, except I just wanna say, I hope you're doing okay. I see so many things on social media with like teachers leaving the profession and you know their head is telling them one thing, their heart is telling them something else. And I just hope that you're taking care of your own mental health and filling your cup because you are so important to your students. They need you. You really need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and not working as much as I am. I'm gonna do better next week, I promise. I haven't come up with a plan just yet of how that's gonna happen. Well, I'm gonna do better, and I hope that you're reflecting and thinking about ways that you can also kind of take things off of your plate. So with that said, I am going to get out of here, but I hope you are well, I hope your family is well, and I will definitely check in with you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching.